y'all, this is Cheryl with Texas Fury Treasures. I am so glad that you decided to come up. This is a Dollar Tree video uh, specifically. Everything here is $1.25. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is these, um, these baskets. I actually did grab several of these. Um, they are already in use. <laughs> um, it just says a basket. Um, I'm not seeing a specific size on these. Maybe I should have measured it, but just to put it up next to me, you see how big it is? It is large. It is a very good size. There, You can put a lot of stuff in here, and you don't have to just use it for DIY crafting stuff. You could put towels, um, small blankets, like my dog blankets. Um, The first thing I want to show you is, it's called Buzzy Sunflower Grow Kit. They do not have a ounce or size or anything on them. Um, you see that this one, it has its own specific color. The instructions are on the back of it. And on the front, it does say include the pot, the seeds, the growing medium, and the instructions. So that is that one. And as far as my hand size, you see that it's, it's a decent sized little pot and you just put your water in it. Follow the instructions, put your water in it. So, basil, uh, basil grow kit, non-GMO, 100% natural seeds. It is in the little lime green container. And you see that is the basil version. Then we have the cherry tomato, which is in the red one. Pretty self-explanatory. And again, instructions are on the back. And then this one says includes pot seeds, growing medium, and instructions. There you go. Butterfly and hummingbird um, flower rocket. And it produces countless flowers. Now I've planted stuff like this before and I really, I liked it. It didn't plant as much as or bloom as many flowers as I would like to have had. It kind of looked like weeds, but I did get some sunflowers out of it. So I was really happy with that. And then the, um, yeah, it just, it tells you everything on each side and then the back. So the butterflies and hummingbird one, I really like because you know, who doesn't like butterflies and hummingbirds? And, um, they, so this one here is the tomato one. It says grow hundreds of organic tomatoes, can grow up to 10 pounds of tomatoes, grow virtually anywhere, anytime, hand selected, premium grade seeds, uh, perfect for indoors or outdoors. Uh, the new way to grow tomatoes, create your own tomato factory. So it's just, it's, it's basically the same thing, but it's it just in the tomato version. And then I have one that's dill. Let me go through this a little bit quicker. And then I have one that's thyme, which I read that thyme is a good mosquito repellent. Repellent. Am I saying that correctly? Um, so yeah, all this stuff is gonna go in our little backyard and then parsley I need to plant those and then my granddaughter found this no a friend of mine went with me and she found it and because I'm a horse person I'm surprised I did not see this to be honest with you I only got one, but isn't that cute? It's a squirrel feeder. It's by Wild Bird. Doesn't say a size or anything like that, but you could put it up. It's got the, the little uh, screws. So you see there's the holes right there and you can mount it on a tree, on a, like put it on a block and mount that to the tree. You could put it on a post in your yard if you have the wooden post or something you can put it on the side of a building if you wanted to just depending on where you wanted it to 
how easily those squirrels could access it or whatever. But yeah, and they sit on the little, I guess that would be the saddle. <laughs> but isn't that cute? And it's a horse. That makes it even better. And then these are the little pots that I got to put some of that stuff in. I got two of the blue ones and I, I like that they have the little water, um, the little water spout thing down here. And it does have the little drain holes inside of it. You can see those. And it just says planter. There's no size to it. I have not tried to take this off, but it does look like it could come off if you pushed those little, yeah, there we go. Those little knobs right there, there's four of them. So you probably could, you know, take it apart if you needed to, if you wanted to try and use it for something else or DIY it, craft it in some fat portion, portion. But I am actually gonna use these for what they are truly intended for. I grabbed two of the blue and then two of the terracotta ones to actually put my plants in that I have not planted yet. So then this is the, the last two of this, the spring stuff, gardening stuff. Um, this here is just a planter, but it is, it's one of the larger ones. It does have the, I don't wanna say string, shoelaces <laughs> rope <laughs> it's like a shoelace material but anyways you can use this or not use this they do have I should have put that in here they do have the uh, the pack of the black plastic chain that you actually hook onto this and you can hang it I actually have a plant that has that, um, that I am already using. But it does have the holes in the bottom. There's one, two, three. They're not holes right now, but they are very easy. They're very, looks like they are very easy to punch out. There you go. But yeah, that will be something else. And the plant will go in there. And then these are the rollers. The plant rollers I did get three different colors um, again I bought them specifically for what they were intended for but you can use these for other things for example kind of like a lazy Susan type situation if you wanted to I mean there's so many different things that you could use these for. <clears throat> it's basically on the same, same uh, scale as far as like a Lazy Susan. You could just put other things in them. You could put paints in them, uh, crafting stuff, your paint brushes, glues, whatever. Just make it easier for you. You could set them on your table and just move it around and you could use it as a Lazy Susan. You could put like a cardboard or a wood bottom in this so that way you don't have these little trivet type situations in there but yeah this is just a planter trolley and also um, from what I understand is they only come out in the spring so if you're you're interested in these and your Dollar Tree still has them you might want to grab them because it's not something that they're gonna have for a long time then the next stuff that I have is going to be just normal Dollar Tree stuff that I picked up. This here is a vinyl top liner, um, non-adhesive and, and non-slip cushion protects, washable, stain resistant. This is a 12 inch by 30 inch. I really liked that one. It has a nice neutral color. Um, but yeah, you could put this in your um, in your drawers for in your kitchen your bathroom you could actually put them under your sink if you wanted to this is something that's really good for those that rent like myself you you know you just want something different you can't paint um, you know you're restricted to certain types of rules but you still want your area to look really nice 
Um, also, you could put them in like bookshelf, you know, like um, on the shelves themselves if you want to kind of dress that area up or if you have stuff in there that you don't want uh, that you're displaying or, or using it and you don't want it to scratch up your the, the surface, these are definitely an option and they come in a, in a multitude of different styles. Um, this is one that I haven't seen before, so it's new to me, but some of you may have, have seen it in your Dollar Tree um, before, but it's, it's new to my area. So I did grab two of those to use. Um, and then this I've actually seen and I've walked past it bunches of times. But here recently I've seen some DIY projects that I really liked and they actually used this on it. And I just thought it was so beautiful. Um, I, I was really attracted to this. I love the, the antique look to it. Um, it just looks very vintagey, if that's even a word. Um, I don't wanna say rustic, it just goes with the country antique theme that I'm doing. It reminds me of my mamaw. Let's just put it that way. So it reminds me of something that she would have in her home. No matter if it was in the kitchen, the bathroom, wherever. It just, it reminds me, I, ref, I, I, I feel like nostalgic. I feel like when I go to my mamaw's or when I would when I was a child and just it feels like home, like that security. But anyways, getting off the subject. <laughs> um, this, this also is an adhesive covering, um, shelf and drawer liner, washer, washable and durable, easy to apply and remove. And it has it in two other languages, um, made in the USA. It is an 18 inch by 1.5 yards. And again, this one is called a tool. Tule, T-O-I-L-E, Tule Black, but I really like this. And they have those in different colors and patterns as well. So I just per recently purchased a small air fryer and I've used it a couple times and the times that I have used it, I really do like it. So when I saw this at the Dollar Tree, I had to get it. Um, it's just a very small book very tiny, but just very intrigued. Very, very intrigued. So did you know that you could cook baby back barbecue ribs in an air fryer? Well, evidently you can. Look at that. Let's see, what else is in here that looks really good? Um, oh, who does not like mozzarella sticks? So, Oh, a crispy pork chops. Look at that. So for a dollar twenty-five, I did pick this up. Oh, and it also says that you can look on. It says visit our website, and it's got their the name. And then it also they are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So even still, you could probably go on there and find recipes yourself if you wanted to. I will definitely have to be checking that one out. But $1.25, heck yeah. Then of course, you know, I have puppies or dogs, puppers. So I went ahead and I got this Essentials Lint Brush. I have not used this. Cannot tell you how well or not <laughs> that it works, but I am going to try it. Um, I have both my dogs are long coated. They're double coated. So yeah, there's, there's, there's puppy hair. <laughs> and then these I've seen hauled before on, a, on different channels that I've watched. The reason I've taken so long to show you these is because they only had the apple. I'm not an apple fan, not a green apple fan. I'll take that back. I like apple, just not green apple. So I finally found the two that I wanted. Um, this is the Soft Rose and it is the Tom's Natural Prebiotic um, 
I believe this is hand soap. Let me see. Yes, moisturizing hand soap. So this is the rose um, scent. And this is the peppermint scent. And both of these are 12, 12 ounces. So I think I smelled the rose before. I'm not really sure. It doesn't smell like roses to me. It has a unique smell. It doesn't stink, but it definitely has a very unique smell to it. But I do know that this is an all natural hand soap and usually when you go in the store, you go to the, I guess the all natural, the natural section, the stuff that doesn't have all the, <laughs> the junk in it. These are in there and these are pricey. I think they're $5 and up. Don't quote me on that. I just know that they have a decent price tag on them. Um, they do have their website. Oh, no parabens, no artificial uh, fragrances. Not all bacteria are bad for you. In fact, kill all back. Killing all bacteria may do more harm than good. So, anyways, it just goes in and explains their their uh, their purpose. But yes, I got the rose and the peppermint. I have smelled the peppermint, and I do like it. Yes that smells like peppermint <laughs> but yeah these would make great gift ideas baskets too okay so i bought this this is uh, the luxury men's cool fresh high performance body wash shampoo conditioner so this is a three-in-one for men and it is a 32 ounce so and I always smell the stuff at the store. If it don't smell good to me, I know that my other half is not going to like it. Yes. It, it has a very light, clean smell to it. It's not over fragrancy. It doesn't have a strong fragrance. Trying to get my words. <laughs> um, oh, and then I believe on my first haul... I, I hauled these. Um, I came across this one. This is the coconut water version. It's the Suave Essentials Hydrating Hand Soap with Aloe. And, and it says fragrances are beautiful as bath and body works. Washes away dirt and germs. Won't leave hard hands feeling dry. 13.5 ounces. So that is the coconut water one. Now... Oh. Smell this one. Hmm. I actually like that. It's not really strong coconut. I guess because it's the coconut water. It's more of a liquefied coconut smell. It's very light, which is nice because sometimes, you know, people like to smell of coconut, but they just don't want it to be overbearing. But this is, this is really nice. I like that one. Then, okay. I also told y'all that if I came across some warm socks, I knew I had some, but I had them put away. So this is the Mossy Oak um, Sublimin. I can't say that. Anyways, I'll show it to you. Um, there are men's socks, the large nine to twelve and a half it's only one pair but yes these are the orange ones there's what it says on the front of it i'm not i'm not good with with, with certain words i i have to break them down and i'm not going to do all that so that's what they look like but these are mine my honey has orange ones also but uh yeah these are going to be socks for when I go play with the horses. <laughs> then these. I've seen these hauled with other people as well. And oh my goodness, one of my Dollar Trees that I went to, they had a, a whole bunch. So I just kind of like went ding, 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 ding. <laughs> 
these are the, uh, I guess you call them Essie. It, I guess they're uh, leg wear, one pair women's socks, uh, nine through 11, shoe size, four through 10, non slip gel pad, a tab, microfiber with aloe infused. So this is these. And then you see the little thing right there? That's a little gel thing, little gel tab. And that goes on the heel. So it keeps it from sliding down in your heel. But yeah, I got two pair of those. And these are just like the pantyhose type. Um, so like if you're wearing those cute little ballerina shoes, um, you could wear these. Um, I'm I'm guessing that if you had high heels or something like a full kind of like a more of a full colored covered high heel, you could wear these. Um, me personally, I have a tennis shoe called Blowfish, and I have dis have discovered <laughs> that they have no show socks, which are pretty much what these are. But these are more of a pantyhose type material, um, but they still are very soft. But see, they're they're like pantyhose, but they're they're thicker, and they're more cushiony. Um, anyways, I've been buying these so I can wear them in my um, my new sneakers, which I I love. <laughs> and then these, I'm just gonna kind of like put them up there. These are all well, two of these are two pairs, and one of two of these are three pairs. So I'll just throw you the two pairs first these are peds ladies um indulge your feet low cut size 10 9 through 10 shoe size um it says they have the gel tab in the back and then they come in two pair each so this is the blue and white there's blue and white and see there's the little ballerina shoes like i was talking about and then this is two different shades of pink and then there's that pink. And then also, I was just looking on here, and it actually tells you there's a sport cut, a low cut, a low cut, an extra low cut, and then a hidden liner. And then these are the, the low cut. And I'm not seeing, like, what a retail price would be. No, it's not going to come off. If I had a retail price, I would let y'all know what these normally go for. But also it says, you know, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That you can find that specific brand on. But at $1.25. Then the three, the three pair. This this says extra low cut. Okay. So these are low and these are extra low. So this is a three pair. And they are the Cool Max. This one is a Cool Max version. Um, size 8 to 12. Uh, for premium fit. Oh, it has cool gel in it. So, I don't know. Now I'm curious. What is cool gel? What in it is cool gel? I'm going to take them off. Oh, the sticky. I guess it's something that's infused in them. Hmm. That's interesting. But that's pretty much what they look like. There's they're they're folded into each other, so it just looks like a little boat. <laughs> but yeah, that's the gray ones, and then these are more like a, yeah, these are definitely more of a pantyhose type material. These are not as thick as those other ones, but they're, yeah, breathable mesh, fabric keeps feet cool and comfortable, and it says, the lit breeze. Hmm, interesting. And these are 5 to 10 shoe size. And then also, yeah, they are, let me 
it says the extra low. But yeah, and you get three with those. So $1.25 each for each of those. No matter if it was one pair, three pair, two pair, $1.25. Then I saw this in the beauty section. It says uh, Ultra Nail Hardener promotes healthy nail growth, strengthens and hardens weak nails. And this is by LA Colors. And it is 0.44 um, ounces. Ultra nail. Okay. The reason that I got this is because I wear dip nails where you dip, you put this stuff on your nails and you dip it in the powder. And um, yeah. After a while, I start to chew it off. Even with acrylic that. Uh, Acetone, not acrylic, with that acetone, it tears your nails up, or at least mine. So I have to let my nails rest. And right now, I do not have that stuff on. I have regular nail gel nail polish. But I thought that I would try this after, um, I'll, after this haul. <laughs> I'll clean my nails off, and I want to just put this on there and just, I guess, kind of let my nails rest for a little bit and uh, see what it does. See if it actually does what it says it's going to do. Because it says that it, it strengthens and hardens your nails, per perfect for thin and weak nails, specifically formulated to promote the growth of healthy natural nails. Advanced formula helps harden and strengthen nails while preventing peeling, splitting, and breaking, which I have a problem with all three. So I'm, I'm very interested in trying this. And um, if, if you've used it, or if you haven't used it and you're intrigued by it as well, um, please let me know in the comments below. I, I would like to know. I mean, is this something that you would recommend? Or if you're interested like me, you know, let me know and I'll, I will definitely give you feedback. <laughs> Then also on the nail uh, topic, I went ahead and got this cuticle remover with aloe vera. It's, it's by Be Pure. Uh, gently removes overgrown cuticles. This is a net of one point flowing ounces. Um, of course it has the directions on the back and they're extremely tiny. So I will have to take a picture of them with my camera and blow it up. But I was interested in this as well. And again, if you've used it, let me know what your thoughts are, please. If you're intrigued as like I am, leave a comment and 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 we will get through this together. <laughs> then also, I bought this Dermacell. It is a pharmaceutical, this is pharmaceutical research eczema relief moisturizing lotion with natural chamomile flower extra extract and another word i cannot say some kind of oatmeal dermatologist tested a recommended non-greasy feel fast absorbing fragrance free and paraben free six ounces so i was very interested in that I usually have in the winter time, especially when there's a lot of dry heat, I, I break out. I do have psoriasis. I was born with it. It's genetic. Um, it's mostly on my scalp area. It's something that I've lived with my entire life. I saw this, thought that I would give it a try. Like I said, in the winter time, the dry heat, I start to get patches. I'm fortunate enough it hasn't got on, it hasn't showed up on the rest of my body, but still. My, my skin, like everybody else, it dries out. I thought I would give that a try and um, see if I like it or not. It does have a seal on it and then mine is not busted. So I will go ahead and open this. Hmm, very light. Huh, almost like a like you can't smell it. Hmm. 
I guess that's a good thing. That must mean my skin is very dry because it just, like, I don't even feel it now. Sometimes I like a little bit of a greasy feeling. But, yeah, that's, it's gone. I, it's not even there now. That's crazy. Then on a little funner light note, I saw these, and I got these for my planner, which it's almost St. Patrick's Day. But this is just cute little washi tape, and it's got a, a little bit of a, well, it's not even St. Patrick themed. It's got hearts, looks like hearts and lemons, and it's got cactuses. Then the other one looks like it's got limes on it. So it's not even really St. Patrick themed, but I thought that was really cute to put in my planner. And then these, there was a whole bunch of these uh, ribbons, but I didn't get the rest of them because I don't have those breeds of dog. But I really did like these, just, you know, basic type things, the paw, the paws and um, the paws with the bone in the bowl. These are three yards, both of these are three yards or 2.74 something or another. <laughs> um, it just says pet ribbon on it. They are by Floral Garden. Of course, you know, scrapbooks, gift bows, crafts, decorating. You can just do all kinds of fun stuff with these. Then the, the last two things I have are more of the, the balls. These have the tag on them. I said the word, he heard me. I said B-A-L-L. So this just says dog toy and I really liked that one. I thought that one was so cute. And then, oh, and then these are more of the cotton. These aren't the nylon, both of these. So I was just intrigued by these to see if he would like them or not. And then here's the orange. But All right, everyone, that is my Dollar Tree haul for today. I wanna thank you very much for coming and joining me. If you like this type of content, please give me a like, a subscribe, a comment, and a share. If you have been following us since the very beginning, I want to tell you thank you, thank you, thank you so much for, uh, for following me. I appreciate your support. And um, I guess until the next time, happy trails.